Hey guys, it's Chris from the X, and welcome to another edition of Quick Biz, the show where I look at a game that is either too big to review or I don't have enough time to review it. This episode, we're going to look at Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U. Now, I've played Arkham City before, it's still one of my favorite games, but I wanted to talk about at least some differences with this the Armored Edition for the Wii U. For starters, I'm sure we all know the story. Batman finds his way into a new version of Arkham Asylum called Arkham City, which takes up a huge chunk of Arkham, uh, uh, Gotham City, and he goes in there to try to figure out what Protocol 10 is, what Hugo Strange is up to, and also to deal with the Joker, who does it, hasn't, hasn't seen good days in terms of looks and health. Now, admittedly, I didn't exactly do much in terms of going with the innovation. I mean, the BAT mode... It's as advertised. It's like the shot gloves with um, or Arkham Origins, and it basically is. It's all right. I mean, it's a bit hard to see here and there when you actually activate it, but it gets the job done. And um, interestingly, there were some parts that I didn't even get to really check out because I was mostly playing it in gamepad mode only. Mostly because I like having the ability to pause when checking the map instead of just standing there like an idiot when people could end up attacking me. At least I don't think that was the case. I didn't get to check it out. I don't know. I feel like I encountered a glitch of sorts in the Harley Quinn Revenge DLC, but I'm not 100% sure if that was really the case because while being silent and everything, apparently, literally as if out of the corner of their eye, or even not looking at all, apparently I was found in one situation, but I, I don't know. Nevertheless, um, turns out though that it is recommended that you play it on the TV utilizing the features of the gamepad, because it turns out there was one really little trophy I could not get unless I actually used the regular mode with the gamepad being just the map and everything. Interestingly enough, it, it is. Is it the perfect representation of Arkham City? Like, is it the perfect installment of Arkham City? Hmm, not exactly, no. But it is definitely a way to show off the Wii U's capabilities, such as the remote battering being controlled with the gamepad. However, I didn't like that, so I tried to make it so that I could actually just still use the control, st the control stick. I don't know if it actually changed anything when I looked into the settings, but eh, it's got all the DLC and such, so it's definitely, I'd say it's worth picking up. Just don't get it digitally. It'll take up a majority of your Wii U hard drive, and it still costs 60 bucks, while Arkham Origins on the Wii U, while still taking up a lot of your hard drive, is only 20 bucks. This is Chris John X, and this is another edition of Quick Bits.